And today I want to talk about the services called IoT Hub, Event Hub, and Event Grid. And the reason I wanted to talk about these today is because uh, in a lot of ways they sound similar, like they might have things in common, the word hub, the word event. And so I just wanted to kind of talk today about how they are related and how they're different. To begin, I want to talk about IoT Hub and Event Hubs. And both of these services from, from Azure are designed for uh, large-scale data in, ingestion, either from an IoT-enabled device or maybe from an application that's transmitting uh, some type of, of signal or information. Um, the primary difference between an event hub and an IoT hub is that event hubs really only uh, take in data, whereas an IoT hub can actually facilitate two-way communication to an IoT enabled device. So for example, uh, it can receive a signal from uh, a device maybe that's uh, sensing a pressure, for example. But with the IoT hub, you can also uh, send you know, firmware updates, for example, or software updates back down to your IoT device. Whereas an event hub, uh, again, is one way. We can't talk back to the devices that we're sending uh, the information. And so those are kind of the, the two differences between, or one of, the, one of the differences between those two services. And again, they're both designed for ingestion of large amounts of data. And if I show you this uh, screenshot, this is a reference architecture published, published by Microsoft. And here, this is showing an example of using data from an event hub to then perform some uh, stream analytics, maybe pump that data into a machine learning algorithm or into a data warehouse. And uh, in this illustration, for the purposes of what I want to talk about today, is you can kind of substitute Event Hub for IoT Hub. They're both services, again, for capturing data and then analyzing and consuming that data. So it's the actual payload of information uh, in the signals received by either the event hub or the IoT hub. Now the event grid uh, is really designed to process events and not so much data. So uh, for example, an event grid uh, would receive or, or be made aware of an event and then take some, some action. And I'm going to show you the second screenshot here. And this is another uh, diagram from Microsoft on their event grid uh, page. And this is an illustration of kind of how it, it fits into the um, event processing world. Uh, so on the left side here, we have what we call event sources or systems that can um, output information or events. And those events are then received by the event grid. And then once those events are received by the grid, it can take some action. So for example, if a file was placed in a certain blob storage container, I could send that information to the event grid and the event grid could then in turn perhaps uh, fire off a logic app, for example. Uh, but the two boxes I have there in red are event hub and IoT hub. So you could use event grid to sense when an event hub or IoT hub received a message and then based on the receipt of that message, take some um, additional action. And this is a little bit different than the, the pattern I showed with the, the data flow that the IoT hub and event hub are designed for. The event grid is really designed to take action when a certain event takes place. Uh, other common uses of the event grid would be um, at the subscription or resource group level, if something changed in your subscription or a resource was added to a group, you could take some action perhaps to notify some people that a new resource was added. And the bottom, the box in the lower left there of the custom topics, this is really an indication that you can create your own custom uh, events uh, from a custom application. So if you've written an application, you can submit events to the event grid and then kick off other processes in the Azure ecosystem. So this is just a quick overview of the difference between IoT Hub, Event Hub, Event Grid. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about the Azure data platform or Azure in general, please reach out and let us know. Thank you.